But let's come back home and talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria, the selection by the coach, Gennot Raw. Uh, we've seen the players that he has selected, for the 22-man squad, for uh, the match against Sierra Leone. And uh, a couple of uh, guys who featured in that team. But let me jump straight, instead of reading out the full list now. But are you satisfied with Gennot Raw's selection? A huge fan of Gennot Raw, so he, never, he would never get it wrong with me. <laughs> okay. I am very satisfied. Uh, I'm just looking through the list to see where I can basically criticize Mm. But I can't find any any fault in the mm. list, so to speak. Siri Desas is not there, which is very understandable. Okay. However, I thought that perhaps, maybe, maybe uh, Paul Onuatu should have been called up in place of Emmanuel Bonaventure. Uh, I mean, Emmanuel is doing a good job as well. I, I think uh, that, that, that may not be right because Emmanuel scored in the uh, Champions League. Uh, yeah, Bruja in the Champions League. Oh, Bruja, yeah. He's called in the Champions League. I think he went to Zenit St. Petersburg. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a fine player. He's been... Gerotua um, has been trying to blood him into the national team. So I think he wants to see him one more time. You look at the other players on the list, you think that they all deserve, you know, to be called up. For me, I'm very excited about Seidu Sanusi. He showed fantastic skills in the two games against Algeria and Tunisia, Tunisia. in Clark and Ford and set five games that I saw live. Chidera Ejuke, wow, fantastic footballer. Mm. I watched that game in the presence of some of my partners in Austria and they said to me, this is number 24, this guy who just came in, he's the most interesting player in the Nigerian national team. He had less than 20 minutes and in 20 minutes, he showed Nigerians and the world what it's got, and that's quality, bro. I think that Chile and UK has a bright future in the national team of Nigeria. And of course, who else? Maduka Okoye. Yeah. Um, he's beginning to prove his critics wrong, even both at club and national team level. Two games against Algeria and Tunisia, mm. he blew everyone out of the water. Um, I was in a car with Kenneth Miro in a taxi, in a taxi, uh, during their campaign, and he had a conversation with Wilfred in Didi. And they were talking about they were doing like a post mortem. We first said, ah, oh boy, you can't try. You know, yeah. when teammates give wow. you the plaudit, that shows that you are really done well. We friend it did he's one of the best players in the national team right now. Unfortunately, he's not in the on the list, perhaps due to injury. injury. He said that Madika had a fantastic performance. I had many of the NFL officials saying, Wow, fantastic goalkeeper. And then I spoke with Gerotoa after the game, he was very happy. You know, he said Maduka did a fantastic job and he hopes he gets playing time at his club. Mm. And lo and behold, two days ago, he put up a five-star performance in a, league, in a cup game against Adu Den Haag. And, you know, we all saw the video, fantastic save. So, mm. um, it looks good for the Super Eagles. Goalkeeping is beginning to look very good now. Akbaye is back. The, um, um, this guy in Switzerland, Osigwe, got his first call-up. Yeah. I hear it's tested positive to coronavirus. Um, I'm not sure how true that is. I've mm. reached out to him. He has not replied, surprisingly, because he usually replies my messages. So. Wow. <laughs> anyway, but we're waiting to hear from him. Mm. Generally, it's a good list, and um, we hope that he goes to get a three-point. I mean, Musa is clubless right now, Yeah. but you can't question his inclusion. He's got experience. He's a captain. Anytime he plays, he puts in his very best. So mm -hmm. anyone who argues that how a clubless player is invited or why would a clubless player be invited may as well get himself abreast or get himself in tune with the history of the Super Eagles and mm -hmm. Abed Bosa. So it's a good list generally, and I hope that he gets the maximum six points or at, at worst four points. Point. Win at home, maybe draw in Sierra Leone and they take it off from there. Or win in both games. We have a good generation of players we should be able to win almost all our games right now. Hmm, very true. I agree with you. Now, let's look at the players on standby. Uh, there's Francis Usoho, who is back from injury. There's Samson Tijani, Abdullah Shehu, Ramon Aziz, Kelechi Wakali, and, uh, of course, uh, Ike Chukwezewa and Paul Onachu. These guys deserve to be in the Super Eagles, but, of course, with all the quality in the squad, they need to yeah. fight to get a starting role in the squad. Now, long before now, Geno Ross spoke about giving opportunities to players who... Um, feature regularly in their club side, but it seems like that doesn't seem to be the case because there's still a Kelechi Ihanacho in the team, but he doesn't feature regularly for Leicester City. 
Well, I think LAT is a special case. Um, he seemed to be very good when he plays for Nigeria, uh, to be honest. Uh, the game against Tunisia, he did a fantastic job, scored a brilliant goal. Unfortunately, he couldn't convert his penalty. And he's been getting a few games at club level, and anytime he gets to play, he makes an impact. He scored in re recently for his club, and um, I think that is is I can't begrudge him for for inviting Kelechi Yanacho. Mm -hmm. Kelechi has shown that he can be very useful, even in the absence of strikers. We saw him play as a centre forward, and then he did a good job against Tunisia. I think that's not a bad call up. Um, for the standbys, I thought that Samson Tijani could have been given a chance because you look at the number of midfielders we have just. Um, I think just four midfielders, Tyrone Ibuhi, who naturally is not a midfielder, Joe Aribo, Franco Ikan, Ogenekar and Tebo. In the absence of Wilfred in Didi, I thought that Tijani Samson could have been, you know, somehow slotted into the main list and not the standby list. Mm. But hey, I think that Gelosko knows best what he's doing. He's also impressed with Samson. He said to me after the game against Algeria, in front of the dressing room, he said Samson showed so much composure, there was no nerve. And Yobo came out immediately and said, wow, young boy, playing for the Super Eagles and being able to hold his own without any form of, 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 of nerve. So these are good words from you know, key members of the team, which means they have something in their plans. That's why they're putting him on standby. So it's not a bad thing. I mm. forgot to mention Leon Balogo. He's yeah. the guy I like to now call the chief of defense staff. <laughs> his composure, his organization, his understanding of football is mind-blowing. His return to the team in that game against Algeria was fantastic. He couldn't, I, I was looking for mistakes in his game, but I yeah. couldn't find one. Of course, there were one or two mistakes, but his performance is too tidy. His return to the team is amazing, and you'll be happy to have him back again. And again, he's playing regularly at his club in Scotland, Scotland. played in the UEFA Cup, two games so far, Europa Cup, I beg your pardon, I'm still in the old. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, playing regularly for Rangers. Good, good, good team. And of course, like I said, Balogo returning to the team is a big, big blessing to the Nigerian national team. And of course, Kevin Akpoguma. Yeah. Wow. Brilliant player who can become very useful. Right back, centre back. Fantastic player, and I like how he goes forward all the time to look for how to score goals. Mm. He's a brilliant footballer, and I'm happy he has decided to play for Nigeria. And he's also he's enjoying the ride. It's a good one, a good mix. Young players, everyone is excited. I hope Genotwa can find a solution to the creative midfield area. Alex will be big player, yeah. fantastic player, but still struggles in that department. Mm. Perhaps not his natural habitat. I hope that Gerotua can find a solution. Perhaps Chidera Ijuke, my suggestion, can play as a number 10. Of course, he must be told not to be on the ball for too long. But yeah. for his skills, his intelligence, his creativity, I think he can do a good job in that central midfield role. Mm -hmm. My opinion. All right. All right, we're looking forward to that one. And with all your analysis, it just shows that the Super Eagles are in good hands and we have quality players who can lead the country forward. Of course, especially with the addition of Yobo, ex international, exactly. someone who who been there, done that, has so much experience. Oh my God! In that game against Tunisia, Yobo's voice was too loud. <laughs> we all heard him teach out instructions from the bench. Yeah. It was an amazing experience, and it was an amazing sight to see Yobo on the bench. Mm. Good thing is most of the players know him as a legend, yeah. respect him. The only person in this team that was his teammate is Ahmed Musa. And Ahmed Musa, even as teammate to Yobo, was still coming into the team as a young player. Mm. So he has the respect of everyone. And that mm. is a good thing for Nigeria. Credit to the NFL for bringing Yobo into the team. I think that that is the future of Super Eagles manager. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll hold you to that. And I hope it happens <laughs> someday. And we'll uh, get back to this day when you mentioned it. But thank you very much, Omar, for your time. Always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. I've enjoyed myself. All right. And please continue to stay safe out there.